Welcome to the SCP Foundation. I am 05-4 and today you will be briefed on SCP-011. Let's go ahead and jump into your briefing there. Alright, item number SCP-011, Object Class, Safe, Special Containment Procedures. Item SCP-011 and the area surrounding it are to be cleaned once every day. For safety purposes, cleaning should start at least 30 minutes after sundown. Cleaning should always be performed by at least two personnel who are also advised to note anything unusual about the item or the debris cleaned up. In a situation where the item cannot be cleaned for more than two days, local residents must be contacted and instructed not to approach the item. Uh, containment procedure is nullified as of 2004. Description. SCP-011 is a Civil War memorial statue located in Woodstock, Vermont. The statue is the image of a young male soldier holding a musket at his side and is carved out of granite quarried within the area. Occasionally, SCP-011 has been observed lifting its musket to the sky to fire at birds which attempt to land or defecate on it. Reports detail that its movements produce soft, grinding noises, but do not cause it any structural failure. Oddly, the gunfire is very similar to that of a standard firearm, despite observations that the item only loads granite bullets and granite powder into the musket, which is also unharmed by the firing. In spite of its efforts, some fecal matter does manage to strike SCP-011, and it has reportedly become distressed when it has had a large amount of feces on it, on some rare occasions even firing at humans. Addendum. Those assigned to maintain SCP-011 are to see document number 011-1 for instructions. Uh, the document uh, 011-1 uh, was actually archived in 2004, um, it is accessible to personnel with security clearance 2 slash 011 or higher. Uh, if you want to check it out and you have that clearance, feel free. Uh, but it's not really relevant to this briefing at this time. Additional information. SCP-011's seeming sentience has increased since the first report of activity in 1995. As of 2004, the item's containment procedures have been dropped, but it remains under constant observation. Recorded below are landmark events in its activity. Timeline, 3-12-1995. Woodstock resident reports the statue's eyes moving, which is the first sign of activity. September 30th, 95, statue shoots musket for the first time. October 9th, 95, statue begins shooting birds from the sky. January 25th, 96. Registration as SCP-011 containment procedures begin. Uh, April 14th, 97, SCP-011 observed moving casually and looking around. May 3rd, 2000, after caretaker uh, redacted, jokingly shouts good shot to SCP-011, the item replies, thank you, in a reportedly very human voice. This is the first speech from the statue. October 22, 2001, SCP-011 has conversation with the caretaker uh, that was mentioned earlier, whose name is redacted, and the shooting of birds stops. Uh, February 6, 2002, at the imploring of the caretaker, SCP-011 steps down from its pedestal. Uh, in between 2003 to 2004, SCP-011 reaches a human level of self-awareness. November 10th, 2004, uh, containment procedures are dropped. Uh, custody of SCP-011 was transferred to the caretaker. On May 17th, 2005, uh, the caretaker reports that SCP-011 is romantically attracted to her. And August 29, 2006, uh, the most recent psych test reports an IQ of 133. And that concludes your briefing on SCP-011. You may be asking yourself, um, well, what exactly is your assignment? Uh, your assignment is to monitor the caretaker mentioned in this briefing, as well as SCP-011. Uh, you are not to have any interaction with the two. Uh, just keep an eye on things, report anything strange that happens 
And with that, remember, we secure, contain, and protect. We die in the dark so they can live in the light. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, uh, subscribe, and ring the bell if you'd like to see more. If you didn't enjoy this video, go ahead and leave a comment as to why. Uh, please try to keep your comments uh, constructive if you can. And well, thank you so much. Have a good rest of your whatever.